Hello guys, this is Noah Ali. Today I'm going to show you how to make this one piece eight pointed star. Yes, it is one piece. So basically you just need a square sheet of paper and the side that you want to be the color on the outside is what is face down. So I want this to be the color because it's like a turquoise here. So basically just fold it in half this way. Simple step. Align it neatly. Unfold, fold it in half the other way. Now keep it this way this time. And then you see this bottom corner here? Make sure this thing, the flap that's opened is here. This bottom corner needs to fold up to this intersection here and this crease. And make sure they don't just fall and fall apart. The edges don't fall apart. And then obviously crease sharply. We're going to do that same on the other side, but turn it over and do it. Like so, crease sharply and make sure the corners are neat. Now you'll see that we have this pocket in the middle. Ignore these flaps, just keep them like here. We see this pocket here. We basically just want to open that and squash. And now you can see that we have a preliminary base. Or it's also referred to as a square base. Now take the side where, where this floppy area is on the bottom, take this corner, and fold it like this. So basically this edge is going to this middle crease. Do the same on the other side. Once you've gotten that there neatly, which I haven't. Crease sharply. Now this top, this top excess, you want to fold that along this edge here, which also makes this hit here. Now on the back side, this fold was just to make the back side easier. We just fold it like this. Okay, now unfold this and then try unfolding this a li little and just erase that crease. Uh, we want to do that because when we make the petal fold, this might get in the way, the way it's a mountain. So basically, fold this up on that crease. And then you see these creases here? Reverse this valley crease and this one. And then just squeeze it here. Do the same on the back side. Unfold this. Fold this along this crease here. Change these valleys into mountains. And obviously this is a mountain here. And then like this. Now what we have is um, the bird base. I'm pretty sure that's what it's, what it's called. And then we have this on the top. We don't want it on the top. Rotate it like this, and then just kind of open it. So basically, we want this crease to come to come out. We're just popping out these creases. And then you should have something that looks like this. Call it whatever you want. Put it in the comments below. Now, we basically just want to do a squash fold here. But make sure you don't do it like here, because we want these, we want this to stay on the middle and covering the blue. So basically like this. What we did is put this down here, and then squashed it like that. Now we have this here, 
fold it on and fold it both ways so that we can actually see the crease. Make sure it's folded this way at the end and then just fold this edge to this crease. And then what we want to do is to like is to um make this side and this crease here a mountain. So make this a mountain so that we can squash it like this. This diamond here is what we need. We now we want to do that on the other side so have it like this where this covers it. Squash this so that it can lie a flat onto one side and then on the other and then we want it on this side again fold this to the crease here I'll crease sharply so you can see it better reverse this valley crease into a mountain make sure the blue is a little more hidden than mine Okay, now we have these two, and these are going to be two of the points of our start here. It'll be like these two points. I'm not sure which one it is. Now we, now we see that we have some creases here. So just fold on this, and then fold this back along this. So we basically just want to fold it back like this. And these will also be points of the star. Do the same thing. Fold it like this on that crease, and then fold it back on this on this middle crease here. It's not really visible. Okay, the next step is a little tricky. We basically just want to make a crease that goes from here to here. So the way we do it is like this. We want to fold this to the middle and make sure it hits here. Not like stabbing. We want to do the same on the remaining three. So do it like that. So this is what it should look like right now. Now what we want to do is make sure this is under this, because the way it is, it's under, not on top. So basically, we want to change this valley into a mountain again, and this time you could do it at the same time on both sides. And then change these two mountains here to valleys, and then just squash it here, like that. Do the same on this side. Change these valleys to mountains, and change these mountains to valleys. Now these are four of the points of the ninja star, but as you saw on here, there were